I thought I'd seen the worst ways of turning fight scenes into eyeball molesting seizure inducing visual nightmares. I was wrong. Apparently one of the occupational hazards of running a channel like this is that every now and then somebody brings something to my attention that makes me want to marinate both my brain and eyeballs in bleach. This is one of those cases. A fight scene, if you want to call it that, from Once Upon a Time, Season 1, Episode 6. This is not what you might think. This is not about any semblance of realism or lack thereof, or even internal logic or consistency. It's not about the cheap, cheesy costumes or the early 2000s Terra Gen looking background. Can you say death by a thousand jump cuts? I counted, okay? I literally counted. For the first 31 seconds, there are 62 jump cuts. I might be off by one or two because sometimes they happen almost simultaneously. <laughs> there's, occasionally there's about two frames in between jump cuts. And yeah, it's literally two jump cuts per second. And in fact, the worst I've counted was Five jump cuts in one second. This has got to be one of the most bizarre choices in the history of cinematography. I mean, there is a zoom jump cut in the middle of a spinning attack. Your brain is going to want to spank your eyeballs for being naughty and sending completely nonsensical signals that don't relate to the real world in any way, shape or form. But no, this is just, this is just what they're firing at you. This is just what they present you with. Maybe this is actually for flies, you know, since flies perceive everything at a much higher frame rate. At the risk of traumatizing Matt Easton, context doesn't even matter here. There is no context in which this is even halfway excusable. I don't care if it's a dream sequence, if it's supposed to be symbolic, if it's intentionally campy, whatever. I don't care about any of this. This is such a horrific experience that you shouldn't want to inflict upon your greatest enemies. I mean, what even happened here that they insist on making the actors do everything in one take and then just fix it all in post? You know, every little wrong movement they did, every bumble, just nope, nope, cut, 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 cut. What? <laughs> what are the brief moments when your brain gets a break from the onslaught of rapidly changing images is when we get a nice close up look at the shiniest tackiest wall hanger that has ever chromed the earth. The only halfway redeeming moment, actually scratch that, there's nothing that will ever redeem five jump cuts a second. The only kind of neat moment is when the barbarian looking guy stabs the hero through the shield and then lifts him over his head. Okay. Yeah. At least you can say that one of the other sanity draining, rage inducing sins of cinematography are not present here, which is excessive camera shakes. I've made an entire video about that if you haven't seen that yet. Of course not. During the time it takes the camera to tilt five degrees, there's already three, three, three jump cuts. Anyway, apparently the show was fairly well received looking at the ratings. I suppose as long as they don't do green screen fight scenes, they can do fine. Either way, I just had to rant about this. And now I'm gonna go get the bleach because this, this needs to be cleaned up. Thanks for watching.